Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Mother 3. Last episode, we finished off exploring the desert and got all the sprites for the enemies there. This episode, we're underground. And violet roaches. You can just die. Please? Yes. Yep, we're here in some strange underground area. So, gonna check it out. Yep, underground map. Okay, then. Huh. Seems to go all the way here. Wonder where it leads to. Well, we'll find out. And you can die. Yay, you're dead. And sweet, level 10. Nice. Can't complain with that. Ooh, whoa, what is this? Hey, stupid monkey, look here. I'm looking. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're gonna take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tazmilly. It'd take an incredibly long journey to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a nuehe. Okay then, you get all that. Yep, use that ladder to get down. Uh, sure. This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalizing machine, and why is that frog still hopping? In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you, just like a good night's sleep. Under normal so okay, blah blah blah. Beef jerky, I will heal. Because healing is good. And, before I do anything else, gonna open this up. Ancient banana, nice. And save the game. The Candrum Underpass. Okay. Well, let's go down. Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. Alright, listen up. When you want, okay. Press B to get in. Press B to get out while you're stopped. Okay, then. Let's try it out. Oh, press A to get in. Yeah. Whoops. Well, it goes really, really fast with some pretty cool music. Very catchy. And before I do anything, we have some new enemies here. Yep, these things. A huge pill bug. Oh, I want to get your front sprite. Oh well, I'll get the front sprite of this one. Okay. Just defend. Okay, that's better. Yay! Okay. That's all I want to do. Because when you're in the pork bean, you'll just annihilate enemies. Let's see if I can find an example. Ooh, this is a pretty nice tunnel. Were these pig guys developing it? while everyone in Tasmania was just doing their own thing. Yay, run over enemies. And, okay. What's over here? Ooh, it's these things that we saw in chapter two. This is one of the pig's vehicles. It's probably best to not touch it. Yep, I agree. What's down here? Ooh, presents. I want the presents, nut bread. Chick bandana. Whoops. Yeah, why not? And, ooh. Remember this area near the crossroads in Tazmilly? Looks like we found out where it leads to. Doesn't look like you can get through this chain link shutter. Okay. Uh, nope, nothing up there. So, yeah. Whee! Oh, Froggy, what are you doing? Uh, just said a save. And let's try my hand at parking. Uh, okay. My parking sucks. And bug spray. Nice. Let's fight you. Okay, then. And what does this thing have to say? Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. Ha ha ha. I'm not gonna listen to you. And let me guess. Running bomb. Yeah. 
Okay, well, we have a mini boss right here, so just approach it. And gooey goo. Yeah, I'll just use this running bomb here. Yay. Ooh, digestive fluids. That's not nice. Yay, that's one down. And... Yeah, nice. I also actually killed something. Well, easy fight is easy, so... Level 11, nice. Mosquito charm. I will gladly take that. So... Yep. Raised our defense by two, so that's nice. Oh, whoa. That grave had a secret passage? Oh, so we're in the Sunset Cemetery. To the south of the cemetery is a village. There's a place there called the Yado Inn where we can, okay? Whoa. And there's all the zombies. Now I'm gonna check out Hinao's grave here, because I'm curious. Yep. Flowers changed again. Yep, Flint is thoughtful. Even though Saul also has no idea who Flint is. Uh, avoid all of these enemies. And I'm gonna get all these presents. No, I can't because the entrance is sealed. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, let's see what Asad has to say about letter. This tall man never leaves this spot. And I've never seen him talk with anyone either. Hmm. Oh well. Ooh, whoa, it's Butch. Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Fasad. Don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just kind of see how much is in there. No, ha, ha, ha. Just please be extra careful that it doesn't get swept by any thieves. Huh. Well, oh, whoa. It's Duster. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Oh, that's why I saw so looked pretty sad. Oh, look, we're checking the, the same scene out. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money, there's money inside. Ever heard of money? Well, you don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tazmili before. But apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yep. Same scene. He's definitely a friend worth having. No, he is not. Facade is not a friend. Oh. Oh. Facade, he's right over there. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Duster, this secret is just between you and me. Oh ho, looks like we found out who stole the money, or who's going to steal it. No he he he. Yeah, that. I can tell Facade's gonna steal it. Well, just going to. Nope, nothing in there. Let's check up on Lucas. Oh, no going that way. Fine. Guess, yeah, well, Salsa doesn't really know who Lucas is, so... Yeah. How much is a lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, fee? Yeah. There's no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. See, these people are nice. Still. It's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little salsa, where's your thank you? Okay, down. Eee, how cute! Well then, if you'll excuse us. I'm Little Salsa, let's go to our room, shall we? Um... 
No. Oh, telephone. Well, I'm getting zapped. Well, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Oh, okay, sorry about that. This is Tasmanly Village. Everyone is nice. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you have to say, Bob? Hey there, monkey. Do you, have, do you not have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. And we can't go inside here because Facade is a jerk. Yeah. Oh, good evening. Good evening indeed. You're gonna work hard for me starting tomorrow. Oh, he just goes to sleep like that. How disrespectful. Seen in the middle of the night. And Facade's just standing on the bed with his shoes. Rude. Wonder where he's going. Probably to jack that money. Well, let's take a look. You've arrived at Oso Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair with gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay, I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. Huh. Yep, he's taking the money. Time to go make a run for it. Oh, I see you're not trying to run away. I guess the fear of punishments turn you into a spineless wimp. What? Lame. No, <laughs> Now, there's a, an alternate scene for this. If you end up going over closer to the facade than running, he will shock you. So, yeah. Sleeping. Jerk. How long are you gonna sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. Fine. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Yep. Well. Might as well save that for the next time, so I think I'm just going to end it off right here. Next time on Mother 3, we'll put on a show for the villagers. So, see you guys next time.